makes me extra lazy maybe because it's hot out or maybe I'm always lazy and the heat's now just my excuse I'm all about getting maximum results with the most minimal amount of effort which is why I've been obsessed with watching hack videos and blog posts so at t is helping me bring you guys some of my favorite ones for summertime and these ones involve everybody's favorite pastime eating sleeping as a closer so let's get on into it This first hack is for ice cream sandwiches and I've seen this on a bunch of different websites so I want to try it for myself. First you need two pints of ice cream or just one but <laughs> I'm not a growing girl. I just wanted more ice cream. And obviously cookies. You can use whatever kind of cookies you want, homemade. If you want to make them this are really a true hack, just go buy some, take some from a friend. We're gonna take a serrated knife and cut this. I would say probably cut it into fours. The ice cream to sandwich ratio, it should be more ice cream to sandwich, but you do you. So you wanna make sure you cut these as straight as you possibly can. You kind of wanna saw it. And I let my ice cream thaw for a little bit just so this would be easier because I'm not that strong. While thawing them was a great idea, make sure you don't let them thaw for too long because then you're just cutting liquid, which does not retain its shape because science. Okay, so now that it's frozen a little bit more, we're just going to do what we were doing previously. Now I'm just gonna take two of these cookies for the sandwich and then lifting this off, place that there, and you can just peel away the paper and sandwich it together. A little cleanup. Look! Ice cream sandwiches! I'll be real, they might have turned out prettier if I worked out my arms more, but I'm lazy. In the summertime, popsicles melt because, you know, sunshine and science. All of that. So, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make popsicles that do not melt. They get like condensation, which sounds also like science. <laughs> I'm gonna be making these in a mason jar because I'm trendy. So sorry. I'm gonna start off by pouring my orange gelatin into, close call, <laughs> into the mason jar. And now I'm going to add a cup of boiling water. So now that the water's boiled, I'm gonna pour that into the mason jar, and this is one cup of water. And now realizing I have to put another cup of water in there, I'm gonna put this in something a little less trendy and cute than a mason jar that I can hold a little bit more. So I totally lied before when I told you it was a cup of hot water because now holding this, this is a cup of cold water that I was planning on adding to this. It was two cups. I didn't mess up the recipe, I just didn't tell you right. And this is really hot, so I'm really glad I'm not doing it in here. I've brought this really big bowl now because I don't really know how to compromise. <laughs> I'm gonna pour this in here. I'm gonna stir this in here until all the gelatin dissolves. You might think, Megan, use a whisk. So now that's all dissolved, I'm gonna add a cup of cold water in and stir it up again. I always like when they do that in the cooking shows. <laughs> now I'm just gonna pour those into popsicle molds. I'm only using two because I don't have a lot of friends. It's the honest truth. Now I'm just going to put the lids on these and place them in the freezer. And because I'm awesome and watch way too many cooking shows, I knew that I should freeze them ahead to show you guys what they're like when they're done. These ones are actually blue raspberry, which doesn't really exist in real life, but when you're making popsicles, it's totally a flavor. And they're so good. Hacked. <laughs> this last hack involves watermelon, and watermelon is so fun and trendy to eat during the summertime, but it's very messy and I wear a lot of white so I need things that are gonna help me eat it a little bit simpler so I'm gonna show you guys how to cut a watermelon and actually use 
skewers to eat it. So if you're in front of your crush, you can eat it without being like. First, I'm gonna start by cutting the watermelon in half. Kind of half. And then I'm just gonna go through and cut it this way, and then cut it this way. It's like a giant game of tic-tac-toe. It's a juicy watermelon. You wanna make them cubes so they're like small little squares. You guys don't have to worry about these side pieces as much unless that looks appetizing to you. <laughs> And now you can just take it out how it is, and you've got these perfect little watermelon, little skewer things. Or you could take real skewers, stick it in the middle, and little watermelon popsicles that aren't frozen. Watermelon's on a stick. Everything tastes better on a stick. It's true, science proved it. Look it up. Don't look it up. I don't think anyone proved it. Was it handy? This is also really good if you're having like a dinner party and you have more than two friends. You could stick skewers in all of them and then people can just like pop it up and eat it. Super easy. And look how cute I look when I'm eating it. It's not getting all over my face. I could like talk to somebody and be like, mm-hmm. I should learn how to win before I try and do that. So I'll look at the next one. But it's not actually the next hack. This was the last one. And how easy was all of that? Anything that I can do to make my life simpler is awesome in my book, which is why I'm a huge fan of Plenty's reward program. I'm at the age where I pay my own phone bill, which isn't necessarily fun, but with Plenty, I earn points for just being an AT&T customer. And then I can go and use those points at another place. It's super easy and free to join, so click the link in the description box down below to find out more. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and I will see you all next time. I'm gonna be eating these now. Bye.